Hey guys. When I have anxiety about something, it helps me to try to imagine the possible outcomes surrounding the issue that I'm worried about so that I can mentally prepare for a variety of potential circumstances. Like you, I have terrible nagging anxiety related to this election. I've developed a persistent eye twitch. So I have put a lot of thought into what will happen if Trump's elected and what will happen if Hillary's elected. Because Trump is a cultural candidate, he already represents changes in the general population and a rejection of Marxism and the establishment. So we will see what appear to be immediate changes, but really have just been brewing for a long time. The most immediate thing that will likely happen is that we will see a varying amount of violence concentrated probably in liberal American cities. Trump's election isn't going to stop the tremendous financial influence of George Soros and the Clintons, and groups like Black Lives Matter will continue to be funded and praised for their racism and violent crime. I think this violence will be short-lived, however, since police will be less concerned with the appearance of racism while defending their domain under Trump than Hillary. Another thing that will happen almost immediately is that people that are conservative or nationalistic will come out in their communities and workplaces, and it will become normal and no longer this underground movement. Because liberals are inherently cowards and have to travel in packs, their power will be greatly diminished immediately upon a losing majority status, not to mention that the mainstream media has no power regardless of who wins. There may be some clashes, but it will become evident very, very quickly that the much tougher boys on the right that are armed will overpower these weak, submissive leftist men that are drawn to collectivism and other things like green smoothies and polyamory. I also am very convinced that Trump will follow through with the threat of obtaining a special prosecutor for Hillary Clinton. I think he does see things through, and after their less than polite treatment of him now accusing him of child rape, he is going to mercilessly viciously go after Hillary and hers. We may just see justice for the Clintons after all. Now, the long-term implications of his presidency largely depend on whether or not he follows through with what he has promised. If he decreases corporate taxes, it will incentivize entrepreneurs and usher in a new era of domestic production. Um, this will obviously stimulate the labor market, reduce the burden of unemployment, and to some degree alleviate poverty in poor communities and likely lessen crime. I've never been sure that he would actually build a wall. I've always felt that he would institute measures um, first that would promote self-deportation that would be so effective that a wall wouldn't be necessary any longer. And you can do that by affording no benefits or ability to work if you are an illegal alien. So no Spanish speaking, no driver's license, no school, no welfare, nothing. If these measures are taken, manufacturing jobs will return to America and bolster the middle class. As real, tangible skills become valuable again, the value of a college education that entails no real tangible skills will be greatly reduced. We will see Marxist academia lose its power to influence the masses, and we will see the power shift from the hands of the elites back into the hands of the middle class. If college debt burdens are reduced because a college degree has become ornamental, basically unless you're in the hard sciences, uh, millennials and younger folks will be able to afford to start families and will see a surge past replacement in birth rate. And these children will not have the same kind of Marxist indoctrination that millennials experience from their earliest years because people have an acute awareness now that this is going on. Saul Alinsky and the Clinton methodology is based on Marxist influence being subtle and imperceptible, kind of a slow drip. But now we notice it everywhere. I feel compelled to reiterate that Trump is not going to be a panacea. Even with masterful trade deals and a debt restructuring program far beyond my financial understanding, I cannot overlook the nearly $20 trillion in national debt, um, not to mention the dangers inherent to fiat reserve currencies. I still believe that we are in a housing bubble, a higher education bubble, and that at some point we are going to face an uncontrollable currency devaluation that can't really be prevented by anybody. So if Trump is elected, and I believe that he will be, we should of course take a victory lap to laugh in the tearful faces of your Rachel Maddows and your Glenn Becks. But we need to come back to center really fast and start dealing with our giant problems. Trump's victory would be symbolic of the average American no longer relating to his country because it has become so bastardized fundamentally by elitist corruption. And for that reason, many of the positive things that will come out of a Trump presidency will be attributable to the underlying movement. He is but one man, and he does not have the power to turn our culture around or solve all of our economic problems. That is our job, and it is important that we temper our expectations of Trump. Nonetheless, he is the beginning of a populism that reminds me why I love this country and why I want to save it. So thank you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.